This video is on factors. So let's take a look. We're going to do two. So the first one, um, more straightforward. The second one, a little bit harder. Okay, so you have 6x plus 42. Right? And so what you're doing when you're factoring an expression like this is trying to figure out what can we take out of both 6x and 42. Right? So with 42, we know that 6 times 7 is 42. Right? So you can evenly take a 6 out of 42 and 6 out of 6. Right? So we do this at 6. Now we're going to multiply it to get it to equal 6x plus 42. All right, so we put this x in here, plus six times seven is 42, and we're good to go. And then I like to kind of like back check if you want to, using distributive, right? Six times x equals six x, six times seven, 42. So that's factoring, all right? And you'll get some, some simpler questions that are kind of like that. But you also might get something, this is going to take me a second to write out here, so bear with me, 6x squared y plus 42xy plus 72x squared z. All right. So that one, right, especially if you're not comfortable with factoring, probably just looks like a big mess, right? And so what we start with is, again, what from these numbers, 6, 42, and 72, can we take out of each of them, right? And so the good first question is, okay, so we have we start with our 6, okay? So does can we take 6 out of 42? Well, we just did that, right? And it worked because 6 times 7 is 42. So the answer is, yeah, we can still do 6 here. What about over here on 72? Can I do that, right? And it ends up that uh, 72 divided by six is 12. And so yes, it does work. So we can start off taking a six. All right, and then, whoop. Got ahead of myself, big mistake. Forgot about x, y's and z's and exponents and all this other stuff. Okay, so now we have x. So is there an x in each of these three parts of uh, the expression? All right, so we got one here. Here, here, so the answer is yes. Now what about x squared? Can I take x squared out of all three? Yes, no, yes. Unfortunately, two out of three counts for nothing. And so the answer to that is no, I can only take out an x, okay? There's x. What about y? Okay, I got a y here, got a y here, not here. Can't take y out of all three parts. And there's also a z over here, but not for these two. So all I can take out is 6x to fully factor this expression. Okay, now I'm just gonna multiply this stuff out, right? So first I'm trying to multiply 6x times something to get 6x squared y, right? You need to know that x times x is x squared. And then we gotta throw a y on there, right? So just xy, right? And that will give me 6x squared y plus Okay, so we have that 42 up there. So we need to know that, again, six times seven is 42. So we start with a seven. Okay, and the answer up here was 42xy, right? I've already got my x, but I need to throw a y on there probably. That looks good. And the final one, 72. Okay, so six times 12 is 72. So I start with that, 12. Got a 6x here. Again, x times x gives me this x squared up here that I need, so I need to put an x on here. And then we've also got a z. My place z exists in this expression. And that's what I do. Now you can also, you know, if you do this, you're like, man, I don't know if I did it right or not. Uh, go ahead and multiply it all out and see if you got the right answer, right? So 6x times xy equals 6x squared y. That's what we had up here. That looks good. Plus, 6 times 7 is 42 xy. That's what we have up there. That looks good. And one more. 6 times 12, 72. And then x times x again is x squared. 
and then there's a z. Is that what we have? 72 x squared z. So we know that this thing is the right answer, and we're good to go.